know much about. She I don't think she said a whole lot. So, um, but shortly after that, you guys all were assigned more tasks to do. Um, one of the prisoners was torn apart by the Quagoth guards that are in the area, and then thrown over the sides where you could hear and see. Those of you that have dark vision could see like the webs below Falcon Valve all bouncing around and had a lot of movement and things like that. Um, so you could you could tell he was completely obliterated, essentially. Um, let's see what else. Um, one of the guards that uh, you had found out was the jilted companion to the priestess of the outpost <clears throat> had come up and was trying to uh, basically shame or... Um, get back at his ex-lover and her new boy toy and wanted to try to get you all freed and in doing so he let you out uh, during the guard change and about that time throughout the cavern a whole bunch of very large demon flying demons start going through the entire chasm area um, currently taking the notice of most of the drow in the area so uh, you did attack a couple of them and that's kind of where we are right now you're still on the bridge one of them was killed um, one of the de demons has landed near the Quigoth cave um, I think that was pretty much it did you, anybody have any other questions about that I did have a question when you were talking earlier, mm -hmm. but I was muted and I did not know that. Um, so if we don't want other things to hear us talking, mm -hmm. how would you... Well, how, so you can say I'm whispering or you can whisper into the mic. Most of the mics are good enough to where you can hear. Um, yep, telepathy is a way. Um, or you can just say, hey, Nick. I'm going to do this and then go on. So I just, what I want to break down is the out of character strategizing and make it more in character so that it's, it's actually as if your characters are coming up with a plan and rather than you guys. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, it, and a lot of that is to help move the story along because sometimes we can sit there for 15, 20 minutes on deciding on something when the game time is still going, so, you know. Okay. Right, yes. <clears throat> what Blake said. You can probably put more passion into it with your character than you would, too, anyways. But we don't have extra time, technically. I mean, we've got a hard stop at nine. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> technically, we don't. Uh, no, it's going to wait till and, we get on, but here I'm going what, to uh, I'd still be good to keep playing a little bit after nine. The but. drow person. Uh, Jorlin, the one that lets you eyes out? The one that was stuck with us that may know things? Oh, uh, Sar Sar uh, Sarath? Jim? Oh, that was Jim Jar for some <clears throat> reason. Jim Jar is the deep gnome. Okay. What's up, uh, guys? Hey, Luke. Hey, Let's see. Um... Yep. I wanted to know if like, I would know if he knows the layout of the prison area and may possibly know where certain things are stored or if my character wouldn't even know that. Your character probably not. The other ones do know that he he knows a little more than he's letting on, but for sake of his survival he has been giving little tips about the layout and stuff. Uh, from what the other characters know, and that's everybody except for Luna and Sal, um, you can tell, you know that Sarath is probably from the general area and can very likely get you wherever you need to go um, just from the little tidbits that he's kind of given you. Uh, let's see. There goes my surprise. Yay, it's colored! Yay! <laughs> I was waiting on it to get colored. Came out really good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking it. 
Yeah, that's awesome. Did you do that? No, I uh, got a guy that I've watched do Monster Hunter no, pictures he, before. He didn't. Oh, I paid. That's really cool. I like it. I gave him a big old description. I'll link to his Tumblr too, so y'all see who it is. But okay. I, like my, I like my character too much. I had to. All right. Now oh. that everybody's. No, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. If Blake's mic doesn't work. How are we gonna? <laughs> Communicate with him. I'm hoping he gets it working. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, otherwise, we'll just have to pay attention to chat, which is going to be annoying, but it'll it'll work. Um, hard enough time. Ping, I haven't heard you say anything yet. I don't think. Who? No, I haven't heard of either. I have not either. You know what? Let's everyone just unplug their microphones. We'll be on the same. <laughs> <laughs> just call the operator so she can switch the uh, dials to connect to each other. Well, I know mine works because you guys are responding to me. Yep. <laughs> I haven't heard Nick in a while. Yeah, have you guys heard Nick? <laughs> <laughs> All right, smart asses. <laughs> no. no, Scott. I, it's just you and me and Whitney in this chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Bob? Oh, man. I think Emily's here. Somewhat. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Surprisingly, I have heard Emily talking tonight. Brian, can you at least hear us? Wait, y'all can't hear me? I see you're in the voice chat. No, no. The technical difficulty. Go through your phone. <laughs> Wait, I didn't know y'all couldn't hear me. Your can phone I mean and it? Use like some earbuds and then talk through there. I had to do that a couple times. Yeah, I've actually done that uh, with Brian before. Yeah, Over it sucks, times. but... It was great until I had to put it on speakerphone and there was an echo. Yeah. <laughs> How about now? Yeah, That's I hear you now. Cool. Okay. okay, cool. Blake, you can still hear me, right? Yes. Waiting for a typed response. Type, type, My type. default was changed, so to give Blake an idea if he's listening. Um, okay. I don't know why or how, but it was. <laughs> That's why I was like, <laughs> when y'all said stuff about a thing, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, it's time for my we surprise. Didn't I didn't know don't that you had you covered, man. <laughs> yeah, it just popped up out of nowhere, and I was like, oh, cool. That must be what you were talking about earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I uh, I paid uh, twenty five bucks for that. So, no, oh, that's that's pretty cool. That would actually be a uh, neat tattoo. I mean, I don't, I, I'm not a tattoo guy, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, neither am I, but it it looks really cool. Like, yeah, uh, he's done Monster Hunter pictures before. That's how I know about him. So I just gave him a description cool. of my character and such. It's awesome, man. Let's hope he doesn't die tonight. Right? Oh, man. That would be the worst. <laughs> Congrats on your character. Uh, uh, <laughs> makes a character that uh, do you want me to that description. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to change your token to that picture? Uh, sure, if you want. I, I'll try doing that tomorrow. I'm not going to do it right now. but yeah. Blake, type something if you can hear me at all. I'm just going to go over the new rules. Okay, cool. All right. So I am implementing the companion rules uh, for everybody that has a that is controlling an NPC. Um, just going to go over the new rules for that, and I will post these probably on the campaign forum for you. And I think I have them on the share, but I'm not sure. Uh, just in case you need to go over them. So, <clears throat> um, essentially, uh, they 
Each companion has different benefits. Uh, while a companion is assigned to you, it moves with you and occupies your space. And you have all the special companion abilities. Some of these rules I'm going to uh, kind of... You cut out, as you said, abilities. Oh. Um, it says uh, companion abilities or, in some case, drawbacks. Uh, and I'm going to uh, adjust some of these rules as we were playing. Um, I don't think that the NPCs are actually going to occupy the same space as you, so they still will be taking up actual room. Um, let's see. Typically, a companion grants you three abilities. One you can always use, one the companion must spend an inspiration to activate, and one that you have access to only if the companion is loyal. Individual companions may vary, but, but this is the standard. Um, let's see. Unless otherwise noted, a companion can only use one of their abilities that does not have a triggering condition during your turn and cannot use such an ability outside of your turn. Triggered abilities can be used any time that they apply. And you'll see that if, they're, if it uh, is applicable to any of yours. Um, if you don't see them already, they will be under your handout section on your journal, which is the little newspaper-looking thing at the top of your screen. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Some companions' abilities might be able to be used one or more times per encounter. Rather than recharging during a rest, these abilities recharge any time you enter a new quote-unquote scene. Um, inspiration um, can be used just like the PCs can use it, uh, but rather than gaining it through role-playing your own traits and flaws, they gain it from speaking, having meaningful conversations with the PCs. Um, it can also be earned whenever a PC helps a companion accomplish a significant personal goal or any time I feel it is appropriate. Um, companions also don't spend inspiration normally since they don't make any roles. Instead, a companion can gain inspiration uh, and will have at least one ability that will benefit from it in some way. Um, the other thing is called loyalty. Um, I think every one of your your NPCs has a loyalty checkbox or whatever. Um, this grants an extra um, ability if you are loyal or if your uh, NPC is loyal to you. Um, in order to be loyal is the other thing I wanted to talk about. Um, who's is the highest your score overall score what do you mean I'm assuming it's probably your charisma score I'm assuming it's e either Emily or Whitney's characters Diane hmm? you say charisma charisma yes 14 Not out, mine. out of 14 I oh, have an wow. 18 okay all right so, okay, cool. So does that mean that everyone will love me more now? Um, All your NPCs are mine. <laughs> they belong to us. Well, that actually is currently the where the highest loyalty number is to be met. All the NPCs start out at um, half of your okay. charisma score. Um, so er all the NPCs currently are about a nine. To make them loyal, they have to reach a 10. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, and once once that's opened, they can either gain more loyalty, which makes them more, um, more likely to come along with you and do things that you want to do. And even though you're controlling them, they may not want the same thing your character wants. So, and if your characters, the, the party, the body of the party... Um, does something against the the NPC, then the loyalty can go down, and they could essentially betray you. But it's all depending on how how the story goes and how you treat them. So, um, and I know that's a lot of stuff to go over, and it's going to be a trial and error thing for tonight. But I think we will get it. Uh, it should s kind of slim down the um, battle mechanics and things like that, but it'll also improve the role play um, for all the NPCs and characters, too. Um, does anybody have any questions, concerns about that right now? No, I do. 
Okay. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. What did I miss while you I was talking? Um, we could use something like vent. I have a vent server at home, or set up upstairs. So I also have a mumble server. Or, yeah, that's why I'm at mumble. But yes, yeah. Discord's um, completely free too. Don't need yeah, to set up a server. Yeah. Okay. Discord's also free, and you can post pictures and stuff. I'd rather oh, do okay. Discord. Technically, if you're using the snapshot version of mumble, you can do that too. Oh, okay. But no, it's. It's better. Into I've never used Discord, so uh, that might be something we can try for next time. Um, I'm not going to have everybody take up more time to get all that stuff set up. So, yeah. well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> same Emily, same. I'm yeah. always on. <laughs> I have okay. like five. Well, hours. well, I don't, and uh, that would be a pain for me right now. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> I think most of us are familiar with it. We could help each other out. Yeah. Okay. Not, so not we'll anyway. we'll. We'll shoot, yeah, we'll shoot that for that one next time. All right, so if nobody has any questions before I start, I'll uh, we'll jump right back into Velkenvilve. Okay. Steve, there, I'll take All right. Okie dokie, here we go. Just be aware Blake's restarting real quick. Okay. Remember, this is a pretty large map. And it might be even slower because they did something last time, uh, which hid all my previous icons for the enemies, so I had to redo them. But I could not find them. So there's even more enemies on here. <laughs> so I apologize in advance. It's literally my website, yes. <laughs> the main page is the best part. Did you just link bottom touch? <laughs> yeah, but... Where did you even link it? I don't see you linking it. Uh, I, I messaged it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Has it changed? No. It's amazing. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's a site, by the way. <laughs> It's so good, I gotta do it on the other window so everyone can enjoy it. <laughs> it's okay, Blake. Nobody's looking at you on camera. You just click on the camera picture. There's two Blakes. That is the best website I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's like the old 90s websites, like the freaking yeah. uh, hamster dance website. Yeah. <laughs> I like how the little smiley guys bounce off that, mm -hmm. that video. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, pretty good at web coding. I can tell. Man. It's, uh... it's a passion. It, it's, it's something. <laughs> All right. Anyways. <laughs> Back into the abyss. Oh, interesting time to use that pun. <laughs> I'm going to get the uh, initiative get back in going. Doink, doink. Also, if y'all don't have little icons at the bottom, I switched my icon to Halucha from Pokemon because I can't. I have one turned off because it just took up space. Okay. Um, so go ahead and roll your initiative. Testing one, two, three. Oh, there we go. Is that working? Yeah. Sounds like it. Yes, I hear okay. you. I think part of the problem might be the mute button on my damn headset, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Rolling initiative again? Yeah, because uh, last time for some reason that went up. Bye bye. Hey, uh, I think I rolled the same initiative. I was uh, I was very high. <laughs> um. Also, for the non-dark vision people, it's still pretty dark in here right now. I don't know if you wanted it like that or not. At least it is for Sal. Oh, I did that. I didn't know why I did it. Hold on. 
trying to get my shit together. Okay, let's see. Well, I gotta figure out where everything is. There we go. Sorry, what I rolled, which was 18. I can look at that. Oh, you already did it. Okay. And did I miss Diane's? Mm mm. I didn't roll because I'm smart. Oh. <laughs> yep. There we go. I thought for some reason you were going to use what we had last time, but yeah, I don't well, know why I think that. Yeah, I, uh, that I wouldn't have be it on the screen, so yeah. that would have been ideal, but let's see. Okay, so Click Clack gets to go first. Okay, so is this guy dead? No. He's, I tried to remember. I thought like I, I, like I was something that I should Oh, well. <clears throat> I, I totally whipped on him. Sorry, just one second. I didn't realize I was going to go that quick. <laughs> <laughs> but you changed it last time. I think though. I mean, there was. I mean, there was some. Dim, there should have been like some dim light here and there, but not very much. There should be a little bit of dim light coming out of the the cave area. The uh, prison cell area that we were in. Yeah. Yeah, but there really is not much light in here at all. <sighs> Fine. The only lit areas are in the rooms. <laughs> Actually, yeah, he should be able. To, you should be able to see a little bit of light coming out of the guard room area. I mean, I can see all y'all highlighted, but not where I'm standing. That's about it. <laughs> all right, Deanna, if you want to chat, our private chat. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, give me just a second. Bear with me. Click Clack is doing things in secret. How secretive? Actually, I have, I have a question for you. I'm going to send you in this. Dang it. Okay. Um. What's the DC on that, Luke? Uh, my DC is 14. Um, <laughs> Open your mind, Wade. That's what I needed. But what was it? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, uh. <laughs> Nick, turn tracker's not working for me. I tried to. Oh, intern. sorry, sorry. Okay. Hey, Nick, since I have. Go ahead. And yes, go ahead. You can. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you just did there. You did nothing. Or <laughs> so you think. Was my turn? Yes. <clears throat> can I? S Is there still a drow up that I can see? Um, hold on, just a second. That's the one. I thought he got killed last time, but that's one. Nah. 
No, we had it, we slung a couple of attacks at him and didn't kill him. I think it ended right around after I swung and uh, missed him. Yeah, that one is still alive. Okay. Oh. Fire sacred flame on him. Then. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Uh, hang it. That actually reminds me. Honestly, can't wait till you guys get off this map. It's really slow for me. <laughs> uh. Okay. So, yeah, he uh, he's able to dodge out of the way for the most part, um, but you do you are able to call down a a blast of flaming light. Um, seems to kind of open up from the very top of the cavern, and for a split second, Sal and everybody in there can actually see the whole cavern illuminated, and you see a beam just dropped right down. The drow sees it too, and kind of ducks out of the way. Um, it does scorch him, uh, and hurts a bit, uh, but he doesn't take full damage from it. Um, but he also hits that um, the flame actually hits the rope bridge. Oh. Okay. Um, so you can see that there's a couple boards on it that are broken now and charred. Uh, and it's looking a little unsturdy on that side. <laughs> Okay. And, I'll move, and I'll move up and check if there's anything else useful on this dead drow that's up here. Um, I think we already burned a scavenge them. Yeah, it? from from what you can you see, the weapons on him. I just, I just looking for anything. Oh, okay. Um, kicking him around or whatever. Well, is uh, sacred flame? Is that a bonus action or is that just a straight up action? I can't remember. That's I just an action. action. That's an action. Okay. All right, so uh, looking quickly, you can't see anything on the body right now. Okay. Not much else I can do, so. Yep, uh, okay. That's good. Cool. All right. Um, since this is surrounded, I'm just going to push through everybody and make it inside that little hut. Okay. Uh, I have enough movement for that, so... And did you say this was the or well, the little room that had like a stairway up, or was it a different one? Yes. I'm thinking of ladder. Nope. Ladder. ladder. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Yep. There is a ladder. Okay. Um. I'm the one's turn, but um, was that the ladder that went up to the room where? It's in this area here. If I can get it to ping there. Okay. So was this the one where the head lady came out of or is it a well this e almost everything comes out of this building um, because there's no other entry or uh, no other way to get to that prison cell okay wait the most of the stuff on that map was down that way I'm thinking right that's the other side right right there yes that's correct yeah, that's yeah. Bridge comes out. okay Uh, return Blake. Oh, sorry. I'm sitting here looking at my book. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just swing a short sword that I acquired. Okay. I feel like I'm trying to remember. Oh, whatever. 
Oh, that big deal. I was trying to remember. I thought there might have been some other way that I had a uh, advantage on that, but that doesn't matter. So close to 20. Uh, that is a hit. Okay, and then... And you three. do get sneak attack. 3d6 now, at level 5. Okay, so... Um, and then I will disengage and move into the room. Okay. Specifically, I'm gonna I'm gonna move right there. Just stand by that by the other doorway. Right there. Okay. Yeah. I'll end my turn. The um, so as you went and uh, attacked him, the drow. You kind of uh, you slipped your knife in between his his, le his leather armor, and you could tell you got you hit him pretty good. Uh, he's not looking too great right now. Yeah, he isn't. Okay. Um, I am basically stuck up in this room because all y'all. All right. Um... Remember to keep your companion cards out too because they can do things as well. Or help you do things. I guess um, it's double when you move through people, correct? Correct, yep. Okay. Shit. Sorry, click clack. Um, I don't have to move my token for the other person either, correct? Correct, yep. Okay. Um, so I will move there, and um, what I am going to do, since there is nothing happening at the moment, I am going to just uh, chill out, I reckon. Because we're still okay. in that, the, um, once we're out of the, ca uh, the cage, does our magic work? Yes. Or is it still this entire area? Nope, it's just in that prison area. We don't, we don't have components for a lot of them. If they're quiet, right? Right. Gotcha. And so if it's vocal or somatic, you can, as long as there's no actual components or whatever. Okay. I see. Well then, yeah, that's just what I'm gonna do then. <laughs> so how does my movement work where I can't see? <laughs> Since it was not that problem last time. Um... Not have, Honestly, no. I'm not sure. <laughs> Do they not have enough dim light to like at least get back, get up to the uh, follow the wall? I mean, I was gonna go back down the path and be behind everyone there, but I just, you know, I'm not sure if I'm actually running through tokens between here and there or anything since I can't see them. Uh, you can make it without hitting any tokens. Right, I was just gonna go ahead and move back out down here behind Luna and yeah. Uh, gonna have to follow people for now. <laughs> um, can you see anything at all right now? Barely. I mean, I can see just uh, I can see okay. behind Ted Nug five squares and in, in the cave, and that's just about okay. it. Okay. All right. Yep. Uh, much less than would. Yep. That's all I'm gonna do for now. Okay. Um. The drow is going to attempt to retreat. There is no retreat. So, Ted Nug, if you want to take an attack of opportunity, you can, because he's running past you. Uh, yeah, I will. Um, okay. So, I don't have any, like, unarmored... Or, um, I, I don't have any like weapon. Right. So, just roll a d20, and add your strength uh, modifier to it, and then whatever you hit with, you roll a d4 plus your strength modifier. <laughs> uh, well, that doesn't hit. I'm sure. No, that does not hit. So 
Uh, I was going to ask if I could just use like the light hammer I have here. But, I mean, it's like a 1d4. Then plus 5 for damage. But yeah, it's whatever. Oh, I'll just keep doing this way. What? Um, Alright, so it looks like he's heading towards the uh, stupid thing. That door's right. the stupid thing. Yeah, it's uh, heading towards the ladder. I knew I should have stood by that other doorway. <laughs> Alright, um, and that is his turn. Okay, so he ran into the building. And went upstairs, or downstairs. Still downstairs. Just disregard that. I didn't mean to click it yet. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Guessing that you pissed. <laughs> it is, yes. <laughs> Good old lefty and righty. Okay, All right, Luna. Go ahead. I do pull out my bow. Okay. So Luna raises her hand and you see a whitish bow kind of just materialize right into her hand. And it's, you said double moving through people? Yes, that's correct. But I can, can I like, what is it, dash? My move double is it? Yes, uh, but that is a action. Action. Okay. I could do it as a bonus because of rogue. But you still have your feline agility. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out what that was. Let's see what my <laughs> Okay. So I'm going to do feline agility. Okay. So that's thirty. So I can make it pretty much anywhere in there. Yep. Yeah. Going to... hmm. And that's all. Okay. Is my turn again? again? Mm hmm. Because we're not the tokens. <laughs> there's only one enemy. We don't have eight enemy or eight NPCs to go through. So, is yeah. this the enemy? Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay. So, give me one second. I would have been better prepared. My bad, Nick. Um, all right, I'm going to try. So does he need to make a charisma saving throw? Oh, I didn't see. Hold on. My bad. I did miss a charm. For some reason, my turn order now is like four times as large as it usually is, as wide, so it takes up almost my entire screen. So, uh, oh, I'm gonna see my cat real quick. She's gonna be bothering me. Target must succeed on a charisma saving throw or be charmed. Okay. Hold on just a second. And what's your DC again? 14? 14. It does not seem to take hold. Curses. All right. Um... All right, I'm going to attempt Mind Meld as a bonus action. Okay. You can tell me if that works or not. Who are you Mind Melding with? I'm trying to Mind Meld with the, uh, the Drow. Okay. <clears throat> um, it's up to you, man. Yeah, yeah, All go right. ahead. So he's gonna listen. Um, uh, yeah, he he hears something in his voice or in his in his mind, and he's like, 
What is that? I say... And as soon as he says that, you've got access. Alright. So I say, you don't have to die. Um, we could actually work this out. There's more of us than you. We'll just loot your corpse. But if you drop your arms, I might be able to talk them into doing it. Either way, you're going to die. But one way, we might let you walk away if you drop your stuff. So what will you do? You realize you only have six seconds. I'm a really fast talker. It's my brain, dude. We're talking with our minds. <laughs> okay. You got a point. That's like six times. As He's, conveying time. the He's conveying the concept. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You think way faster than you talk. Okay. He thinks back at you. Uh, you have no chance. No rolls or anything, man? Dang. Wow. No deception or intimidation? All right. He, there are a lot more of them than there are of you. And there's a whole bunch of flying demons. You're right. Okay, worth a shot. Swing and a miss. When he's right, he's right. Shot. Uh, can I see anything from there other than just our guys? I don't think so. <gasps> I'm just going to move um, there again. Okay. Um, you might be able to see through the doorway past Headnug. Um, who's the one who can't see? Sal, right behind you. Can I cast light on a small object he can carry? Yep. If you can find a light up or a small object around you. I mean, does he have a? Do you have a small item, uh, like some that you're holding on to, or? <clears throat> He's got like underwear and a mask on. I mean, whatever you want to do, buddy. <laughs> underwear. Are there, any Are there any small stones on the ground? Magic underwear. Magic underwear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, there are some small pebbles and stones around. <laughs> I pick one up, cast light on it, and hand it to him. Okay. All right. Um. Let's see. What is the? Uh, actually, hold on just a second. I think I can do this. This way. You can just play D&D &D the old school style. Yay. That's how you I see? play. Yeah. Okay. Everybody should be able to see a lot better now too, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, now that uh, everything is more illuminated, you can see that there are a whole bunch of flying demons. Some look like giant wasps. Some look like uh, some that are like a panther type bat with a human kind of physique to it as well. Um, very disgusting creatures flying all over the place. Um, okay, and is that your turn? Okay. Um, I'm going to try and climb that ladder. The one that the drow's at? Yes. Um, okay. What would I have to like rip him off as I go up there, or can I just kind of like follow him up? Uh, he's at the base of it right now, so you can. You can try to attack him. Uh, you can grapple him to throw him off. It's an action to do so. 
um, but you can use your r remainder of your movement to, to go up. Um, yeah, we should put him to the side. <laughs> or at least try to, right? All right. Um, roll strength. Strength, okay. Yeah, fifteen. Grapples usually use um, athletics, don't they? Strength versus either strength or dex. It's the choice of the person you're doing it against. Well, I'd say just because athletics, if you have to understand athletics, it's better to roll athletics than straight strength. That's why I ask. I have not. Because I read a lot about grappling, it's just a, it's a combat of strength or dex, straight up. Yep. Is it? Huh. It's one of those. Yep. Okay. Take a look for it. I blank for okay. some reason. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so he's actually able to hold on to the, the ladder. And I should be rolling these in pub public view so you could see, but he rolled a 17. Um, not kind of like it's, it's a little more narrative. You just kind of describe what happens. Kind of like your robot. Damn it! <laughs> can I just like climb around him? Is it a pretty big ladder? You can you can try to climb around him. He'll take he'll be able to have an opportunity attack against you with uh, disadvantage though. Let's just do it. I'm climbing up the ladder. Okay. I'm looking for my stuff. Uh, it's it's strength, uh, parentheses, athletics, or dexterity slash acrobatics. Or... Okay. I don't care right now. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> but I would like to clarify for the future. I'm sorry. Um, so he misses. <laughs> yes, that is a miss. So, okay. So you get up there, and you see... Um, looks like... Uh, let me get... Uh, it is a fairly small room, but there are... It's stockpiled with weapons and gear. Um, looking around quickly, you can see several items. You see several items that, uh, that do look familiar to you. Mm, all right. And where the heck is it? So I can give you a more detailed. Okay, so um, you wouldn't obviously be able to count this or do this right now, but I'll just go ahead and tell you for uh, for the sake of it. There are six chain shirts, six suits of studded leather armor, six shields, six hand crossbows. 20 cases of hand crossbow bolts, each containing 20 bolts inside, six short swords and 10 daggers, six bags of caltrops, four 100 foot long coils of silk rope, two building hammers, which are not usable as with, <clears throat> excuse me, as weapons, and two bags of iron spikes, 10 spikes per bag. That's quite the collection of things. And along with all the rest of your, you guys' stuff. Um, do I have enough movement to like approach this and? Um, so, I mean, I, I use probably about. Let's see, let's use five, ten. Fifteen to get there, and then I don't know how far. So up it's a, it's about goes. a twenty foot to get up to the top. So you're probably just at the top okay, of the. Okay. Uh, yeah, yep. uh, I wouldn't have any time to. Yeah. Get up and move. Right. Okay. Well, in that case, um, that's it for me. Uh, that guard is still there, right? Well, actually, could I have? I mean, it's still yes. right now, but the, could the I? The guard have, is still there. Yell down and say, "Like I know, smoke's in here with me." Could I be like, "Hey, smoke, or stops up here." Yep. Is yeah. that too late? Yeah, you have okay. enough time to do that. Okay. Well, if you had, I was gonna ask. 
like I was going to come down here, kill the guard. Uh, all right. And I, I'm just moving you inside so that you're not on top of the other guy, okay. even though uh, essentially. I guess he. I don't. I won't have a sneak attack on him now, will I? Uh, no, you would not. No. Okay. Well, I guess I might as well. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just use. It. I'm gonna use a fireball. Every other okay. Me. Might as well use it. Okay. You don't have to have uh, your. It doesn't have. It, there's no material. Okay. Cool. Uh, that's a hit. Oh, dang it! Wait. Oh yeah. CD ten now. Yeah. Um. So, you throw your paw out at him like with nothing in it, and all of a sudden this small ball of fire just flings from your claw and hits him square in the chest, and he falls off the ladder, and seemingly the, the fire kind of ignites the, the chain mail, the, the fabric that's holding it together or that's bound around it, and uh, it's heating it up, and he can't take it, and he dies. Ooh. All right, I guess I'll uh, run up the ladder. I'll use that action if I need to to get all the way up there. Okay. And uh, if I can, first thing I'd like to look for is my books and stuff like that. That would that would have had with me. Uh, let's see. If, if I want to wait till next turn, that's fine. You can get up there. You can see everything. Um, but it, it looks just like most of the weapons are up on uh, kind of racks and everything, and it's pretty well kept. Uh, but all your stuff is all piled into a pile of junk. It'll take a lot of victory. So, so yeah, you, it would take a while for you to pick out and find your book or books. Okay. I'll be turn that in. Okay. Cool. These Things are still flying around, right? They are. They do not seem to pay any attention to you. Um, when the lights came on, they all kind of kind of backed away slightly, but uh, it has drawn their notice. Okay. Mm. But most of the drow are attacking them as well. So I guess we. I guess some of them, can you see, like, over there, I guess, from the, uh, like, over there? Is that where you're seeing the other drow? What's that? I, you said we're seeing the other drow. Are we, like, seeing them over there? Oh, I thought she, was, she said the, the flying things. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, was, oh. I wasn't even talking about that. Sorry, I'll shut up. Sorry. Well. Gosh. Now, with our... Our counterparts. Mm -hmm. Since we don't move them, it's they're just beside us. Essentially, yes. Okay. Right. You can, you can tell me if you want to move them somewhere, or if you still have access to move them, you're free to move them. If you don't, um, and that's one of the rules that I'm skipped over, I think. But if you don't take a move or a action during your turn, you can have them do like use an object or or open a door or things like that. You can okay. make them move too. All right, I'm just gonna come over here where all these peeps are up inside this room. Okay. Um, um, let's see. Um, I'm going to need you to roll a dexterity dexterity check, yeah. Because okay. the area that you just walked across is very rickety from the blast from Melvin's <sighs> sacred flame. Come on, D and D gods. That'll do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Shoo. All right. Um, I can't move any. Well, can I use my um, my dash? Yep. So that I can be inside the room with everyone. Yep. Uh, you could probably make it up the ladder as well. Okay. From there, because um, it does. You have your full movement speed. Okay. Uh, do I need to... Well, actually, you'd get up halfway up, up the ladder, so... Okay. How would I know when the la where the ladder is? Well, it's where the dead drow is currently. There... Oh, okay. okay. But you you don't know where anything that 
anything is up there right now. Yeah, I'm so. just following Ted Nug. He's my buddy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure, my big guy um, is still sitting there on top of the ladder. One one thing I did forget to mention: Luke's character, uh, NPC Jim Jar, his special ability. Um, me and Luke kind of discussed it the other day. It, it might be useful for everyone. So, the way it works is Jim Jar is a betting betting man. So if you make a bet with him, you can make you can have a one d four. What is it? Ability check towards your ability check. Uh, yeah, to any ability check made before rolling. I'll link his character card. Okay, so he can only do this once per encounter, so if any of you decide to make a bet with him, and you actually have to tell him, I bet you this, or whatever. But if you do that, then you can have a 1d4 on your ability check with, before you roll. Like, I bet hmm. you I can jump this gap and type of thing, right? Yes, correct. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, I meant to say that earlier. Okay. Um, so can I just kind of end up here? I don't have to take the full, the full damn it, uh, the full thing, if I don't want. Yeah, you you can you can get up to there. Okay. Your dash if you want. Yep. Sweet. That's what I will do then. Uh, because I don't know Drow's dead. I'm going to use my flight to fly over there. Do I have okay. to stop flying to get into the doorway or anything? Um, no, I mean, you can kind of shoot into the doorway. Okay. Just making sure. Because with her seeing her trip up on the bridge and everything that happened to it, I think you would think yep. best to fly. Yep. And seeing the draw is dead, I'll be like, what's everybody doing? And it can actually respond to that. Um, yes, you can. Uh, you kind of, it's a bit muffled, mm -hmm. but, but he is very loud. <laughs> very loud. <laughs> um, yell back, I'm climbing a ladder. Congratulations! <laughs> How is that? <laughs> it's pretty great, I just found all my shit. Oh, there's stuff! Who, did... Who does this guy know? think he is? <laughs> <laughs> hey, people outside! I think there's stuff in here. Good stuff. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and uh, move out of the doorway and let other people have room to get in. Okay. All right. Um. Let's see. Okay, I'm assuming that you all are going to head that way up to the upper room. Is that right? Yeah. I think yeah. everybody wants their stuff back. Yeah, kind of figured. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. Um, how do I want to do this? How do you want to do this? All right, so... How would you like this to happen? <laughs> Let's keep initiative. Just make it quick, what you're doing. Well, since I'm still downstairs, I'd run up, probably go upstairs. Yep, I figured. And Kay. I'm looking for the cloak. And if there's a... um. So, since you have not used your action, you can probably get all the way up there and investigate. And you're, you're able to find all the stuff you want to find. Okay. Um... It's going to take probably... Actually, yeah, let me do it this way. Because the armor is the most, most time-consuming thing, I think. It is. So, um... I'll ask you guys how you want to do it. So, I'm going to go ahead and put you all in the room. I'm assuming you're all going in there. Um... It is going to take you quite a while to gather all your things and whatever supplies you want out of this room. Uh, keep in mind, you do have NPCs. They may be able to utilize some of these things. 
if the room is cramped, I'd also say we could probably just you know kind of toss the less fragile things down. Right. So uh, I'm not going to move all of them in there because it's going to going to get cramped pretty quickly. Um, so tell me if you're going to throw things down or if you're what you're doing while you're up there. Um, okay. Well, Ted Nug is grabbing Water. all of his things. Um, for the props, the first things, my great axe. Mm -hmm. Um. And I'll probably just start throwing things down. Okay. What are you gonna throw down? Um, I saw some of the swords, some of the what was the um armor's the first thing I think. Of. Yeah. Do we get all our stuff that we had before back? Um, from what you can tell, it's all there. Um, upon inspection, you might find there's a few things missing. Do we notice anything missing? Um, <laughs> uh, you, you don't. There's a, there's a few things missing. I'll go ahead and tell you. There's a few things missing out of the bag of holding. Oh. From okay. both of ours, because we had the, two. all of the gold. All, all the gold's still there. No. Oh, you said that. you said there's like uh, workmen's hammers there. They do. Yeah, and metal spikes. Yeah. Yep. Um, I'd like to take one of those and some of the spikes. Okay, so there's uh, two bags of spikes, and there's ten in each bag, and one hammer. Uh, and two hammers, rather. There's two hammers. I think, I think a hammer and a bag of spikes. Okay. So go ahead and add that to your inventory. Um, you said there was, what, the, what are they called? Caltrops or something? Yep, the uh, Caltrops. Yeah, yeah. Four um, bags. Blake messaged that he wanted some Caltrops, too. Yeah, I think it was four bags, wasn't it? Oh. I was just gonna throw them all down. Six bags, yep. Oh, six? Okay. They're pretty small. I can probably just grab them all. And... Yep. Well, I, I want at least have one on me, so I'll take one of them. Okay. Um, keep in mind, the battle's not over. Mm -hmm. it's still, Stuff is still going on, so um, if you guys are putting on armor, it's gonna take about, uh, I think it's like. 10, 15 minutes, depending on what kind of armor you're wearing. Yeah, so, well, I know, like, Melvin's probably takes 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, uh, probably does. Uh, the NPCs, depending on what you're going to give them, um, if you're going to give them anything, uh, it might take them a while. Um, there's still movement, so... You never know if something might come to a door or something. I was, I was gonna say, can we? Can I, I'm gonna smoke all direct, make sure someone's watching the door. I'm assuming I found all my books, right? Yes. Yep. You found all your books. Okay. Um, you said there were daggers up there as well, correct? Yes, there are ten daggers. Uh, I'm gonna grab a couple for the twin deep gnomes. Okay. Um, this basically full set sword for them. Um, I'm just gonna head back down and on the way down. So there's there's more swords and stuff up there. Just I don't know what everyone uses. I threw some stuff down. Does anyone else? I mean, are we getting enough time to put on our armor, or is this? Uh, you don't know. Uh, that's why I was saying we need to make sure we have someone posted on the door. He's counting down in his head how much time has passed and what's going to happen when. So um, I'm going to probably forfeit putting on my armor for now, and I'm going to stand post by the door with my uh, dagger at the ready in case. Uh, I'm assuming there's is there a door there or is it just open? Um, is it? Hold on, just a second. Let me see if it's still open or closed. It is closed currently. Okay. Well, I'm going to stand by the door. Um, and just be ready with my dagger if anyone comes through. Um, okay. Probably be good to have someone else on the other side just in case. While while everyone else is getting equipped. All right. Are we still doing this within turns or? No, we... no, don't worry about that for right now. Okay. So, 
since Sal so, wouldn't need much to prepare, I'm gonna go into uh, El Cuervo, uh, bird. Uh, excuse me, uh, I, I will take the rear. <laughs> what is that bird squawking? I have no idea. The, the, Senior Click Clack, please, uh, excuse me. <laughs> May I take your spot there? <laughs> Thank you. Yes! Turn my head as I'm looking at him and wonder why everybody's laughing. <laughs> Gracias, El Corvo. All right, well, uh, Mo is just visibly cringing. <laughs> Ted Mo has climbed down and just kind of left whatever shit I threw down there. Um, and I'm moving out of the way so people, other people can climb up if they haven't already and get all their stuff back. <laughs> okay. I'm going to climb up the ladder. Okay. Yeah, I think we were just kind of saying we were throwing out. Like I threw down all the armor because there's no really not much chance of it getting damaged. Yep. And then so I think just during this time we're all just in general getting all our stuff and, and once we're ready we need to keep moving. So whenever we declare that we're ready, we need to keep moving. Uh, we may want to just go ahead and get out of here once we have, once we're all equipped. Not go not go further down, but. Figure out how to jump. <laughs> There's a river down below, right? There's also a spider web. That well, yeah. To hit. I could try using a fireball on it. I don't know how flammable it is, but we could try burning it. I know Melvin can burn stuff. And then if we can jump it to the river, I can slow fall or feather fall. All right. I'm so, by the way, which six creatures are you talking? I guess just because. So you guys, um, while you're discussing how to uh, continue on, you hear a loud trumpet sound um, from the door that is open. From the door that opened? The one that came in? Yes, the one you came through. Sal, what's uh, going on out there? I don't know, some trumpets. You've heard it too, right? <laughs> oh, wait, he can't see. <laughs> he can't see anything. I'm going to go over there and just have a look out that way. Well, he's got the okay. light. Careful for the hole, El Gatito. I just want to be able to see out the door. Got to do a perception? Even though I actually see something there. But is that all right for you to do a perception check? Um, yes. You probably have disadvantage though. No. Uh, Since it's... Yeah, I've got dark vision to sixty, but eh, that's not bad still. Sixteen. Um, uh, right, but you have disadvantage because it's still lightly obscured. Oh, okay. So. Um, <clears throat> you see that there's uh, at least one or two drow coming back down your way from the small sentry hut that was at the Quagoth um, cave down in that area. You also see a Quagoth running down the, the rope bridge connecting that area. Um, you also see yeah, one about of the, the rocks oh, okay, very there. close. Yep. Okay. Right, not that not that rope bridge, the other. Okay. I'll, we'll, those are stairs, actually. But, I will, yeah. Okay. I'll back out, hide, and let the others know what's coming. Quagga, you drow. And possibly a rock, or whatever that bird... Whatever that demon thing is. A V-rock. Uh, V-rock. Okay, uh, can I stealth? Just in the whole milling mass of us. <laughs> oh, thanks for that, Emily. And... Uh, yes, go ahead. Yep, you're good. Okay, so it's up to y'all what we want to do. Um, are we armored up yet, or... Has Melvin gotten equipped? Or... Um, no. Oh, yeah, he probably doesn't want to jump in the river, but I can feather fall on him. Well, it would take him a long time. 
And we've we're well, still... honestly, since you're, you've done all that already, you probably do have. Uh, Melvin probably does have his equipment uh, put on. So does that mean that everybody's things that were in their possession before are returned to them? Yes. If as you guys took about ten minutes to grab all your stuff, the drow for the most part have been uh, preoccupied, but uh, they have finally noticed that uh, there's something going on. And they seem less distracted by the uh, demon things. And they obviously know we're here, so we need to make a yeah. decision. Yep. Do we want to go south, or keep going along this way, or do we want to fight those guards and then look at t- trying to jump down there some way? We can, burn, we can try to burn those spiderwebs out of the way if that's, a more, if that's an issue. Hmm. Is the um, other drow with us? He that is, yep. Mm-hmm. I look at him and say suggestions on where we go. I would, uh, I would say that we get the hell out of here. Lead oh, the I, way. The, the, on, <laughs> the only way seems to be down. Okay. I said we go for it. You said there's a river down there, right? Switching masteries. <laughs> Okay. <coughs> the drow can go first. Well, let's try. Let's burn down that web. I'm gonna try to shoot a firebolt down at that web. Oops! Didn't mean to do that. All right, hold on just a second. Disregard that. Was that you were trying to do your? Uh, I was focus? trying to do my focus. So I did uh, actual skill. There we go. Okay. Don't take falling damage. That's what we were looking for. Yeah. Okay. All right. We good. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let me get the initiative going again, since if you're going to be casting spells and such, and you're already. No one else is taking initiative, so smoke will. <laughs> um. Oh, lovely. Wow. At least get the guys the fireball first, right? Hold on. Um, yeah, you you can do that first. Since you don't have anybody in here. Uh, you. Do you, you want us to wait until you get the turn chart? Okay. Oh, my bad. It should be up now. You want me no, to you're fine. On that, or am I just automatically at the spider web? What's that? Do I automatically hit the spider web, or do I need to roll an attack on it? Um, there's enough of it below you. Um... That you're not going to miss it, uh, but yeah, roll anyway, because you may not actually get it off. They roll a one. Giggity. Didn't roll a one. <laughs> okay, yeah. So you, <laughs> um, so you, uh, you throw another firebolt down, straight down through the hole that uh, Melvin had created, and see. See the uh, spider web kind of sizzling away as the fireball or firebolt flies through it. Um, it it does get through a couple of layers, but uh, you can tell this is extremely thick spider webs. Okay, so down is going to be a difficult option. <laughs> um, okay, I'm assuming I can't move since we're doing the initiative. Um, let's see. That one's dead. He doesn't matter. He doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Wow, that is harsh. And... Oh. Can't wait to guys get out of here. <laughs> okay. As an aside, do I have time to say I recommend cutting the bridge? <laughs> yeah, you probably have time to say that. What okay. Until the morning, you know. Okay. Can I try to cut the bridge? Is there another way out of here before we cut the bridge? <laughs> there is another door. It goes deeper into the uh, drow encampment, though. Yeah, there's a, there is another door off to the southwest. From where you guys are. 
As long as we aren't cutting our one way out and just get trapped here. Well, this way out's not a very good way out anyways. <laughs> um, so, Eldith, the, uh, the dwarf, comes up. She says, I've got my hammer. I've got my axe. Or my shield. I'm ready to take these things head on. Nah, I mean, we could probably take these guys. I like that plan better. Okay. Alright. Let's see. I have all of them. There's two Did everybody roll? Mm -hmm. What's that? There's two oh. smokes? Wait. Oh, oh, yeah, there are two smokes. That one. That's awesome. We should let there be two smokes. <laughs> Uh, Diane rolled a 12. Okay. She's not showing on the initiative order. Yeah, or I got you. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, Sal, you get to go first. Okay, so we're <clears throat> we're fighting our way up. We're not going down. I ask anyone until we figure out if we get as soon as we can figure out to go down how to go down. All right, so I don't see anything yet. So I'll f fly to the other side. Still don't really see anything. So wait, what's the other yeah. door that you're saying that we have? You don't see? It's not a dead end down here this way? Just no, that? it's uh, it was in the other area that you were just in. Right here. Uh, okay. Like, wait, you really can't see? No, no, I can see around me, but I can't see it up there where you're pinging. No, I can only see up to the, the beginning of the quag out there. But, uh... So, I don't know. <laughs> I guess because I'm going first, it doesn't really matter where we knew where we were going. Qui Goth's looking at us. That thingy, huh. whatever. Mike. Nick. Mike. What was that? I'm sorry. This this Qui Goth is looking at us. Uh, he seems to be heading that way. Yes. Looking at you, funny. I'll, I'll you know, I'll go ahead and take him on. Ooh, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's war, but I will. I'm already too late. Come in, let's go. <laughs> I, I'm gonna punch him. I did tell you it was at least two drow and a quag eye. Yeah, but I didn't know where they were. <laughs> it's uh, he didn't care. Let's go. Uh, where's my list? Okay. There it is. Punch. Here. Punch. Oh, you're right. It's actually a foot radius. I thought it was a thought it was 30 foot radius. Oh, come on. Talon, punch. Um, uh, give me a second those out. Well, I'm glad it's going to be you and not me, because I was a little worried about my positioning. <laughs> uh, that's a hit. Alright, so did we ever figure out how we're going to do, like, because I know I get two attacks, period. There's that damage. If I want to do a flurry of blows, does it count as four attacks or not? Did we ever get to look at that? Oh, crap. I forgot to read about it. Uh, I think I've read it was four, but it's up to you. Yeah, I mean, it sounds. That sounds like it's the way it's supposed to be. I well, think it's an work. extra attack per attack action. Oh, God. That was my second attack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you do hit with the first one. You overextend with the other one because you're used to kind of. For the performance versions, you're not used to actually doing this in for life or death, and uh, kind of reach over too far and overextend yourself for that second one. All right. Um, but you do do nine damage. Yeah, it's two unarmed attacks and a bonus action is what it is. Hmm. So long as you're taking an attack. Okay. I'm making sure what I want to do, just in case my key, if I want to go ahead and... 
I'm going to hold on to that to just in case I need to use it for something else. So, there's that one. Let me out the door. Yeah, I'm going to move there. And I'm assuming I can see that dude. Yep. I'm going to try to shoot him. Okay. Point there we go. Moonbow. Wow. Tis Amos. Okay. Wow, that, that range. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, Nick. So can I see this guy? Um, uh, From in there, probably you can barely make him out. So anything I do would be a disadvantage? Yes. He is like clear. Okay. Um, Hi, yeah, well. yeah I, I think I remember there's a there's that railing there. Yep. Right. So if I move behind Luna, would I be able to hit him then? Uh, yeah. Yep. All right. So, okay. So is that the Quagoth? Is the best I can tell. That is yes. Okay. I am going to try to make him do something fun. Dance. Okay. Hmm. Intelligence. Good choice. Okay. Huh. Let's see here. Wow, that's... All right, so it has to make a intelligence saving throw, all right? Please be dumb. <laughs> yep, he uh, failed, so... As long as you keep your concentration up for the next minute, he has to target his allies. All right. I'm going to move over here and start concentrating. <laughs> no, you may continue concentrating. How do I end up that slow? Okay, Melvin. Okay. So, what am I looking at here? This... Uh, let's see. Quagoth, a drow, a drow. Mm hmm. And a rock. Rock. Up above. That's this thing here. Oh, that. Yeah, I'm not going to piss with that thing until it starts to attack us. I guess, is that an like ROC rock? Because I could have sworn that was even bigger. Or is that like a different. Type. Your row body. Damn it. Um, let's see. I'm going to cast uh, Scorching Ray. Two at the first Qui Goth in front of, uh, I forgot your name. Sale. Two at that one and one at the, the one behind him. Okay. Uh, first one misses, second one hits. Third one misses. One hit the spider web miss. <laughs> um, spider web's actually below that, so yeah. but it does it does hit the railing uh, along that that walkway, shattering the uh, the railing along that wall. Um, go ahead and roll damage on that third one. I mean the second one. Just click the scorching ray. 
thing in the chat. Okay. Eat. All right. All right. You hit him, and um, as you hit him, he starts seemingly like it. He looks confused, and his mind or he his eyes are kind of his head's kind of wobbling around, and he starts to spin a bit, and uh, doesn't notice much of the damage that has just been dealt to him. Okay. Um, I'm going to right there. And I guess that's it. Oh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I can, as a bonus action, cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay. And I'm going to put it next to the one I hit with the Scorching Ray. Okay. What is it look like, looking like? Uh, uh, it's a, it's like a, a, a flaming. Okay. And do I have to roll the hit, or does it? What do I have to do? Um, did I, did I already... If you put in the attack, is that what you did on the? That you rolled there? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then that's a miss. All right. Then that's good. All right. Sweet. Okay. Okey right. hokey. Um. Did not know that was there. Cool. Makes me feel real awesome. Don't piss off. You guys off. were fighting something, but I didn't know what it was. Uh, we're not fighting that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're not fighting that? Not yet. We don't know what it wants. Eh. It's probably want it. far. There's no eh. reason to piss it off yet. <laughs> eh. Let's see. Um. Sure. 20 foot radius. Okay. Uh, this is. That's five. How do I know a 20 foot radius, guys? Well, it's 20 foot from the center. Uh, so, if you targeted. Oh, wait, wow. That's 20. Wait, I okay, so I am going to cast Calm Emotions. 20 foot radius is basically really big. From this point, I think. Yeah. Yeah. From this this point here. If you wait. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. Right. Right here. It's going to get all of you guys, but it's worth it because maybe we can escape. So there. Actually, I think you can draw a circle game. From here? From here, I think, is what I picked. Let me check. Because that's 20, 20, 10. Uh, he's also well, bad. The rock is up higher than that, so. Oh, it wouldn't. It wouldn't reach him. No, he's he's like forty feet up. Okay, well, it'll at least reach these bads. Yep. And also, I'm sorry, you. <laughs> so. <laughs> Whatever. Eh. All right. So everybody has to make a charisma saving throw. Yep. You can choose to fail the saving throw if you wish, though. And it's just um, the people that are affected, correct? From that point? I think it's everybody. Yep, I screwed us. Sorry, love you. <sighs> I meant to. So who's it all hitting? Good intentions. Uh, everybody. 
So, um, okay, this, this drow, man, the 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 drow behind the quite the two quagoths and the two quagoths and Sal. Oh, so it won't reach Melvin. Uh, army. That's a yeah, definitely. Oh, yes. Yeah, it would hit them. Okay. Oh, yeah, so everyone. Do I have to roll a wisdom? <laughs> Drawing, it's terrible. Christmas saving throw? Yeah, and what uh, what did you want it to do? To stop them from... Or make them indifferent against uh, everybody else? Yeah. Okay. My jog is not working. <laughs> that circle is useless if it can't um, talk. And I do a charisma saving? Um... Yes. Okay. Well, I don't think you have to save against your own spell. Oh, okay. I don't know if I was in. I'm not sure if I was in range, but. Were you investigating, cat? <laughs> um. What is your DC on that? My DC is. Wait. How do I know what that is? <laughs> it'll, say it, it'll say it on your uh, casting or your spell page at the top. Oh, gotcha. 15. Okay. Oh, there we go. It's, it's not supposed to have that, but it missed. It failed anyway. Um, two quite nuts. <laughs> wow, they are not very charismatic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so, one drow and two of the Quagoths seem to be uh, um, less. Yeah, they they don't seem to be hostile towards anything at the moment. Um, and it looks like everybody else saved their or made their save. So we all rolled like bosses. Yeah. All right. So is that uh, the end of your turn? Oh yes, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. Um. So the the door to my left, we mm -hmm. so that was closed, right? That is closed. Yep, yes. Now we've never opened or looked through it. <laughs> I'm going to look through it. Ted Nug is looking through the door. Ted Nug likes his doors. Uh, you know, it never let me down. Except when it has. I open the door. Okay, hold on. Just a second. You've got to create all the enemies that are on that side. No, I've got to <laughs> move, move the stupid turn order thing. Uh, and uh, put it on the dynamic lighting so I can select the door. All right, so the door is unlocked. Ah, damn it. I shouldn't have done that, shouldn't I? Oh, well. That's what Ted Nook does, you know that. <laughs> you should always plan on that. I knew it! I see something. I can't make out what. So, you open the door... And you see the drow that has helped you, and he sees you, he looks you dead in the eyes, and he turns back to, if you can see a little farther, I can. Elvara, Elvara and Shore are on the other end of the bridge. He says, the prisoners are escaping! Got it! <laughs> I, uh... Yeah, uh, we have more problems than that. And kind of motion towards... Make a little flying bug gesture. As, as best as the half work can. Flying bug gesture? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know what... Ted Nug doesn't know what they are. He just, he's just like, oh, there's giant fucking oh, oh, flying bug things. 
I thought you were talking about like some like weird cursing gesture. No, like, no, no. I like no. flipping them off. <laughs> but it's a weird manner. No, and then I closed the door and walked the other way. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Actually, I won't walk the other way. I will stay by the door and bar it shut with my big self. Me and Dindrol over here. And that will be it. Okay. Ah, you should have cut the rope. Then you should have tried to cut down the bridge. <laughs> That's one of our exits, so. Nah. I have an idea. Not anymore. <laughs> um, Sarath says our only exit is down I've already told you this well I mean we surely didn't climb up here ow oh, I turn order disappeared I bet you guys we could make it down <laughs> says Jim <You're> Jar <laughs> <laughs> we all get one before our ability check to go down <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Sarath replies oh. with a very quick, you are brought up with a basket in a giant basket by several Quagoths. Yeah, the only that. way is down. Oh, wait, so it was a basket, there was a lift, huh? Oh, I thought it was like another entrance to the cave that brought um... us in. Well, in that case, I'll bet you get stuck in the web. Can I talk to that dude? <laughs> To who? The Sarah? I guess it was yes. The uh, dark elf, or the drow that's in there with you. Yes. Um, he technically is in there. Um, you can yell back to him. Ah, uh, damn! I don't want to yell. It's pretty I loud in here, no matter what. Don't worry. Yeah, but it's quite loud. We've lost the element of surprise. Well, and and he's the one that's our friend. Correct. Uh, he's a fellow prisoner. Yes. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. To think well, that. you know, you know, maybe he can be my friend. Mind. I don't know. I just want friends. Um, I'm going to do a thing. Where is the thing? Can I? Oh, do I have to press charisma? What's that? If I want to. If I want to have, like, ask him if he will help us get out of here and kind of make him do it, would that be persuasion or charisma? Um, or deception? It, he wants to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, but he's not really, like, leading us to get out of here. You know what I'm saying? He's telling us to go down. That guy wants out. Yeah, so as as you're kind of saying this, he picks up stool, runs past um, smoke, and jumps off into the webs and say, How much plainer can I make this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that goes my plan. <laughs> I promptly run behind him and jump. What, you were going to grab the mushroom, though? Are we... Yeah. Dis are we just disregarding the combat now? We're gonna. This is gonna be a thing. Okay, we're doing these chums. I'm gonna grab the twins since they can't. I, mean, I don't trust it and fly down with them. Then. <laughs> okay. Uh, if, if, they, case, if they let me. Fall <laughs> on uh, a few people. Um. Well, I guess I'll. If you need to grab it. some feathers, grab them now. I already got. Uh, I've got my components. Uh, I guess I'll target Diane, Ted, Nug. Uh, as we're all as we're all jumping, hopefully within the same time period. Diane, Ted, Nug, myself, uh, well, Luna, and Melvin. It's one reaction, so it would be within a yeah thirty-second time frame. Can I call? Well, I say, can I call out like you know the, the you know if we're doing this, we all jump that you know those five jump together, or the five of us jump together. Hold hands and do it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I see. It says choose up to five. Okay. Yes, that's fine. Yep. Okay. So well, I'll need uh, some love jumping because I'm a brick. You guys, uh, the the five that are feather falling, 
fall gently into the webs. Um, hmm. There, There is no way around them unless you are flying. Um, so I'm assuming, Sal, are you picking up the twins and then kind of landing far off as far as possible since you can fly? Yeah, I mean, I would grab the twins since I, 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 they could be kind of scary for the little kitties. And so, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, wherever it seems that people are going, you know. Okay. Um, so as you grab both of the, the kids in your talons... Um, and you spread your wings and start flying off. You're kind of zigzagging across the uh, the demons. A couple of them lash out at you, but they miss. Um, you can see that there is a giant pool below as you're passing the webs and stuff, and you do see several large giant spiders in there. Um, you you pass over the, the water, and there is a small, uh, I won't say beachy area, but it is kind of a... Um, well, a rocky outcropping, I guess, on on the northern half of the of the map. It seems like there's no enemies there. There, are, all the ones that you can really tell are the flying ones that are that are up above you. They're they're falling me down, not falling me down. They don't appear to be paying you much mind. Okay, I do recall something about they, them. they. They mostly seem to be attacking each other, and the the. Drow are also attacking them, so. Because uh, I'll drop them off, not knowing if they speak my language or not. Be right back and go back up and try to help other people. Okay. Um, the five that are falling that do fall in the web, I need you to roll a. Uh, that is, I am assuming you guys want to or jumping down too, right? Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. Um, so as you do land on the web, it, it does give. You can tell that it's um, quite sticky. It does. It doesn't give to where you fall through it. It's. It gives enough to where it's not a solid substance, but uh, you you are held in there. Um, if you want to break free, you can roll a strength, or you can do other things as well. Would do um, acrobatics or uh, oh. acrobatics would not work. You either need to destroy the web or uh, break free. He wants the parkour out of it. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. parkour. Um, I guess Nug I is going to break the web. Okay. Or attempt to. All right. Roll strength. We're we're, we're trying to break the web. Is that what you said? Yes. That's what he's trying to do. I'm I able to use cast like flame and spots broken. until it breaks. Nah, that's broke. <laughs> I take out my great axe. <laughs> and I just start. Yeah. So, so the area that you guys all fell in, Ted Nug just takes his axe and just slams into it, and you all fall down to the next layer of webbing. Um, oh. As you do, and which five is this again? It was uh, the five of us that are lowest on this. Um, Ted Nug, me, Diane, Luna, and Melvin. That's why I did the, sl- the feather fall on if they joined me. Yep. Down there. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what Click Clack was doing, but he seemed like he could handle himself. Yeah, whenever you get had, ready, Nick, I'll roll with you. What's that? Oh, did you say something to me? Me? Yes. Yeah, so when you get done with them, you can do me like I, well. Oh, know. okay, I got you, I got you. Yeah. And then Melvin, I mean, can you, I was going to say, Melvin, you like fire, right? Can you like burning hands and burn down one side? Well, that's what I was going to say. I could sacred flame spots at will, basically. Yeah, I guess I can fireball too. Oh, look, a spider. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to, I would like to destroy the web between me and the spider. The fireball as best as I can. Come on. If I, if I see the spider. All right, so um, if you guys are doing a uh, flame spell, go ahead and do it quickly. Fireball. I'm just okay. trying to sacred flame the, the, the web around us if we're trying yep. to fall. 
Go ahead. Okay. Do I need to cast it? It's just a cantrip. So. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. All right, so... Um, seeing uh, or falling immediately after Ted Nog has sliced through the first layer of webbing, um, as you guys fall, Melvin sh holds out his arms, and as he does so, a flame comes through, and... and um, Smoke shoots out another flame, uh, a firebolt. A fo uh, fire bolt. You're able to make a hole all the way down and fall all the way down into the lake or the pool below. So you guys are no longer in there. Um, anybody that's above could probably jump straight through that hole all the way down. Yeah, I was going to say, Shushar will <laughs> probably do a swan dive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a swan dive down through the hole. So the other NPCs and maybe Click Clack probably sees this fat fish person waddle up to the bridge and just gracefully dive right through the uh, through the open hole all the way through the webbing. And he seemed very calm throughout all of this. Splashes right into the uh, into the pool. Yes, he does not seem to have been upset. Didn't care. It is what it is. All right, um, Luke, go ahead. All right, so Jim Jar looks at me. I look at Jim Jar, and in my sexy barbarian voice, I say, "Grab hold, baby, I got you." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jim Jar's like, "I bet we make it down," <laughs> and um, <laughs> I cast Wind Form. Unfortunately, as I am quickly running out of side points. <laughs> And I try to emulate what I saw the other bird do because I was mad jealous. Okay. Can you see? No, I cannot. So this ought to be fun. Don't you still have the rock with the light on it I gave you? That Sal has uh, it. Sal. Sal has it, not click back. It's the other bird. <laughs> Stop being oh, so okay. racist. Uh, but <laughs> can you not use two bonus actions? <laughs> Can you use do bonus like can you use a bonus action as an action? No. Okay, so I guess since I can't switch. I mean, I was on my way back up. Can I <laughs> see that he's flailing he, about? He <laughs> Guide him. Be his wing. Be his wingman. Sure. Yep. I'll I'll say that you can. So Luke, I want to ask: Are you trying to flap your wings and everything? No, I'm actually, since I don't think I have, like, talons or anything, like, I got a whole gym jar some way, so I'm just, like, I grab a hold of gym jar and try to, like, bear hug him as best as I can, and I just, like, jump off into the wind, hoping everything works out. <laughs> oh, okay, I just, want, I just wanted to imagine you trying to flap your wings like you're pretending that If you're I had a different way to hold him, I would have, because that would have been <laughs> my character. But I don't have any other way to hold him, unless he wants to, like, be a backpack. So since you can actually fly, are you just going to fly along with um, Sal to where he dropped off the the two kids? Absequiefly. Let's do it. What? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> you heard him. Aquarvo, <laughs> uh, how do you fly without wings? This is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, don't know what to say, so I just go... <laughs> How astute. Okay. So you and Jim Jar come here. Um, so all you guys and meet up with Sarath and Stool, who are actually just a little bit ahead of you. Um, the water as you hit it. Um, and everybody else is actually behind you as well. Um, the water as you hit it is extremely cold. Um, it's about 10 feet deep. And along the top, you can see sewage and sludge. So you guys are kind of just making your way through this. This is where they dump all their refuse. All their... Oh. Yeah, so you guys nice. are... While it, 
underneath the water, it is clean because the waterfall keeps it churning. But along the top where everything rises, that's that's kind of where you guys are right now. Stay away from so, the floaters. So pay no mind to the enemies above you. They can't see. Well, you don't. they're not paying any attention to you. Um, so where do you want to go? Oh, Sal, were you wanting to grab anybody else? Was there I'll, anyone small enough to grab? <laughs> you could probably just, you could probably take Eldith and Bupidu, or uh, well, Diane's already down there too. Uh, and I don't know about Quigoth if he would have been just too pissed off trying to fight stuff still or jumping down with us. I don't know how he would act. <laughs> um, that's a good question. Um. He probably would have been pissed still. <laughs> but that that's however you want to roleplay him. Oh, because that's the only thing that makes sense is for him to just kind of go nuts and fight you know, Hulk Smashy-like because he's that way. <laughs> Not that I want that to happen, but it only makes sense. Okay. So as you guys all start jumping off, he comes down this way and... Starts running towards the other Quagoths. While the rest of you, I assume, are making your way towards the shore? Wherever, the, yeah, wherever Sal dropped off the yep. other. The kids. Ted is, is going towards the shore. <clears throat> Alright. Um, what order I, are you guys in? I'm not worried about order at this point. <laughs> Until I get to the shore. Okay. Out of the water. Alright. So, as, uh... <laughs> Let's see here. Hold on. Oh, they're all the way out there. <laughs> okay. So, as you guys start to exit the pool, you see a disgusting blob jump out of the water, and this is as Tednug, Luna, and Smoke. Um, Melvin, you're probably there as well. So, you guys do get to the land. Um just pulling yourself up out of the disgusting cold water, part of that sludge just leaps out at you. Doesn't hit you, uh, but <clears throat> as it uh, as it misses all of you, um, Ted Nug, Melvin, Smoke, Luna, Diane, and Stool, Sarath, Eldith, Bupidu, and Shushar, they, you all hear in your mind, something says, Flash for the faceless one! Lovely. Hmm. Can I recognize... Do I, have I read anything about any sort of faceless one? Or actually, should I know anything about this faceless one? Or do we really care because it just wants to eat us? Um, he does not know. Okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's not really well intentioned for us. So, as far as we're concerned, that thing is uh, incredibly hostile. Yeah. Well, Ted Nug's just gonna get his great axe ready. Yep. I will. You guys gonna stick around for a fight? I mean, uh, actually, well, I would, we should probably regroup with the others over there. I mean, I guess we'll just where where is it? Where is it specifically? Yeah, like right there. You ever watch Ghostbusters? Uh, yes. A long time. Yes. Oh, it's behind us. Yeah, it was leaping out at you as you were getting out of the water. It was kind of like the slime from Ghostbusters 2 as she's getting into the bathtub. And it kind of. Nice. Only this one is disgusting, bubbly, brown, grayish color. It's a poop monster! <laughs> That's what Diane just said. Just like that, too. 
just letting you know. Well, yeah. So, I mean, I want to make sure everyone gets out, but I'm going to be make sure I'm getting out of the water and very warily watching it, make sure everyone else gets out. With a uh, fireball ready to go. If, uh... It does not seem to follow after you. So, um, and as you all start to regroup, Sareth says, Ah, oh, yes, uh, forgot about the ooze in the palm. No, in the no, it was mentioned, actually. I, I kind of said it in passing earlier. It's like, wasn't there a news? <laughs> oh, okay. I do remember that. Um, was anybody going to say anything to Darren Dill? Stop yelling. Uh, in, the, in the heat of the moment, I didn't notice him up there. Okay. <sighs> I think it's befitting of his character to just keep going nuts up there. Be kind of hard to yep, stop him. Uh, yep, I agree. Okay. All oh. right. Oh. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So you guys are down on the ground. Um, what are you gonna do? Sushar so shakes his head as uh, he overhears seeing Darren Dell up there. He just shakes his head. <laughs> well, that's Seraphine. There's the way out of here from here. Uh. I'm trying to remember. Did Shushar knew which direction to go for uh, Slubadot? He does, doesn't he? It's northish. Yep. Okay. Um, so Shushar's going to point to the north and just. Uh, we don't have the. Uh, we don't have any telepathic right now between uh, him and us, right? Unless right. The... Nope. I, okay, so he's going to point north and just say Slubadot in that watery, gurgly voice. Okay. So he's pointing this way. All right. Well, I know he's just gonna keep going this way. He sees uh, some other people. And Spoke will agree with him because he seems like he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> I remember he had mentioned going to slip the dot earlier. Actually, it's not really. Yeah. Yeah, and this way gets us away from all the demon things up in the air too, doesn't it? Yeah. It's really the only good option. <laughs> I don't think they gave a damn about us. <laughs> yeah, but you don't want to find out that they give a damn uh, after they're done here. As you say that, one <laughs> kind of comes swooping down, looks looks to have been knocked out, um, knocked out of the air, and lands right in front of the the entrance, and looks at you, and starts haunching its shoulders, its wings batted up in the air. And it's uh, it's taken notice to you now. All right, guys, go go around or go through. I think we have to go. I think we might need to go through. No, we just gotta go through. Yeah, go through. Okay. So, any... what's that? Basically, fight or flight. How, uh, Nick, how high is that doorway? Uh, that's not really a doorway. It's a whole tunnel. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite large. So it's like a, it's pretty high up. Like we could go, I could potentially go over him as I'm flying. You could, yes. Because his wings are messed up, right? I uh, didn't say that. <laughs> I thought you said he got knocked out of the sky and his, like, wings were messed up. He did get knocked out of the, out of the sky. But he didn't, his uh, okay. wings aren't necessarily messed up. Okay, do I said I think we need to decide if I think we attack it and because uh, it was but it, it looks it looks injured, right? Um, it does look injured, yes. Okay, I mean I think we finish it off and get out of here. I say <laughs> it looks back at you and in your mind you say it, you hear something say, <laughs> "You can try, puny mortal." I guess say let us go. We won't have to. <laughs> What's the fun in that? More I, souls for the queen. I charge him with my great axe. Okay, okay I'll, yeah. dude, I'll shoot a fire. I'll shoot a fireball then. Kind of follow up to him, charging. Well, let's get some initiatives going then. What are you huffing about? I don't, <laughs> I don't suppose it counts as a surprise round at all because he's uh No, no it's I would not say a 
Dang it. Wait till you're done. Cody, just that... throw away. Right. Come on, he expected to talk more. He was here in chat, right? <laughs> Always having to fight things. You guys just can't not fight things. He wants our souls! <laughs> <laughs> There's not... <laughs> he doesn't want our pudding. Um, well, maybe he's a nice soul eating thing, okay? Okay, okay then give him your soul and we'll take care of the rest. <sighs> Let's see. You are free to sell your soul if you wish, but I'm not selling my soul. Not yet. Shh! Hush, kitty. Not for the right price. The price is not right. He, you hear in your mind, your soul is worthless. Hmm. <laughs> Aww. Nothing, nothing but food and fodder for me. Not worthless, but uh, anyways. About nothing. Why am I Hello. getting two? <laughs> several of you. I had to Google what fodder was. <laughs> I thought he meant, thought he meant we were poop. I don't know if a soul becomes poop though when you eat it. I'm not really sure what happens to a soul when you eat it. <laughs> How big is this thing? Uh, it's about between 10 and 15 feet. Holy cow, it's like. Um Big old thing. Pretty big. I'm getting out of being injured. <laughs> You're pretty and robot. Pretty... Ah! I'm a robot again. Anger. <laughs> Anger. I was just saying, I'm getting out of being injured. Okay. Yeah, totally not going first. Dang it. Um, Melvin and Ted Nug, what did you roll? I had you on there multiple uh, times. So Ted Nugget rolled 14. a 14. Oh, yeah. Bob's in 17. Melvin rolled 17. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Uh, Luna, you get to go first. Okay. Is it technically supposed to be like half cover from where I'm at? Like if I'm shooting through people. No. Uh, no. You guys don't really count against yourselves. Okay. Then I'm going to try to shoot it. Okay. It's also taller than all of them. So. Um. Like seventy nineteens. That is a hit. Yep. I I'm oh, also going to note that I'm going to expend a spell slot of level two for this. Okay. Now we get to see what it does. Oh, 10 piercing and 13 radiant. Fancy. Okay. So you don't see Luna pull out any ammunition. She just pulls on the bow string and a white arrow materializes as she starts pulling it back. And as she lets go, it hits the creature right in the chest and it explodes with radiant light. And you, you hear the uh, the rock go Rah! and it clutches its chest. And then it turns invisible. Because <laughs> of invisibility else. Anyways. I was trying to click that it was no longer prepared. Yeah, well I guess it's like a spell slot. Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, we try to minimize it. Wait, hold on. So that was Nick. 23, okay. Mm -hmm. It says on hit, I can expend a spell slot to have it do 2d8 radiant damage per spell slot. That was level 2. So would it be 4d8? Yep. Holy crap. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you forget things. Uh, okay. That's so. been my experience. Anytime you forget something, <laughs> and you go back and do it, it's just like, why even bother? All right, so you did a pretty good uh, good chunk of damage to it. Uh, 
All right. And if that's the end of your turn, go ahead and hit stop turn or whatever. And, all right. Yeah. I'll go ahead and move up and punch it a bunch. Punch a bunch. Okay. Punchy punch punch. Find a window. First attack. Another 19. Can oh, I just roll 20s at this point? Damage. Make sure before, you know, he's not going down yet, right? Well, mm -hmm. and hopefully, hopefully the 26 hit. Punch him again. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> First one does hit. Um, as you... Um, hold on just a second. Okay, so the first one does hit, and your uh, talons slash across the chest, and as it does so, it kind you kind of just see sparks going across its chest, and it does not seem to have as much of an effect as you thought it would, as, as most of your normal punches have. Oh, Damn demon. Yeah. I'm going to punch him two more times. Let me use a key and use my flurry of blows on him. Okay. Uh... Boom. Hit, miss. That's a hit. And one more time. And that's, I'm assuming. Yep. And for the effect for doing the flurry of blows, does it take an effect still, even though it's not doing as much damage? I'm assuming yes. Yep. Uh, would I still be able to knock this big guy prone? <laughs> um, if not, then make him not be able to take a reaction until the end of my next turn. Uh, you can. You can knock him prone. Knock him prone! Let's go big, Sal style! Okay. I think he goes next. I'm not sure it's going to make much difference, but... It'll make him take an action and get so through it takes half its movement. It's... Yeah, so it, t it does take half of its movement. Um, but so you punch him in the gut, punch him in the chest, kind of uppercut him, and then you drop to your leg and then sweep out his leg, and he falls prone. And as he's trying to get back up, he looks at you, and he starts huffing and puffing himself out. Gonna blow your house down. And as he's doing this, you see. Um, let's see. I need. Everybody within 15 feet of him to make a DC 14 constitution saving throw. How's it measured? Is it measured like that? Or. Like that. It's uh, from his edge, so yes, that would be 15 where it's at. Okay, so I'm safe. Yeah, I feel like this needs to measure. I feel like this needs needs to measure uh, diagonals better. I bet I can't make this save. <laughs> <laughs> well. I bet you you can! <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like uh, Click Clack just made a uh, bet with Jim Jar. That's correct. <laughs> That's weird that he's heard someone say, I bet you I can't make this safe. <laughs> Click Clack, that is. All right, so I got to roll a D4. Is that right? Let me read. Well, hopefully it's a DC10. It's a uh, 1d4. And roll your constitution save, not your constitution. My bad, my bad. Big whoop, not that big of a difference. Ah, but it could make a difference. You're right. If you roll a 4. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Still don't make the save. <laughs> I don't, you know, we'll find out. Okay. Um... All right, so Sal, yes. 
Okay, so you actually... Well, let me roll for the kids. Hold on. So is this accurate? Do I have an MBZ inspiration? Or not? Um, nobody has one right now. Okay. Probably okay. will have one uh, by next time. Okay. I'm just uh, reading it then. That one does, and... Oh, here, I'll do this way. There we go. So, Topsy makes it. Turvy does not. Um... So, you all start seeing this Vrock, as he gets up, he starts batting his wings and he poofs himself up. And as he's doing so, you see these spores coming out of him. And they cover everything in a 15-foot radius. Um, most of you are able to hold your breath. Sal and Turvey become poisoned. <laughs> I don't know what they sound like. That's just what I think um, they sound like. <laughs> sounds good to me. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. I got one. I got one. I got one. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I, I'm just gonna send it to you, Whitney. That's a fine. <laughs> poison does. Let's see. You get. Um, uh, I can look it up. Too. Can't oh, heal. Uh, disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Oh. Pretty mean then. And you, you can't heal until it's clear. I'm just think, right? level. Um, no, it it just says you can't. Uh, you you just got disabil or disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Conditions. Um. What was it also? Um. And you can repeat your saving throw at the end of each of your turns, so to hopefully get rid of it. It depends on the poison. Right, yep. Well, there's a generic yeah. status effect. Um, and both you and Turvey take five points of damage, so. so. <laughs> All right, and he is then going to... Uh, let's see. He is going to fly. Um, Twenty feet up into the air. Um, it does take half of his movement speed to move. So, but as he's re as he's leaving your reach, if you guys want, you can take a uh, Ted Nug and Sal can take opportunity attacks. Do you said yep, disadvantage for me though, right? Right. Well, that's still pretty damn good. <laughs> you both hit. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, um. Ted Nug, you notice also what uh, Sal had noticed. As your axe scrapes against it, it uh, doesn't actually cleave into it at all. It uh, kind of just scales across its chest a bit. It does hurt. Uh, you can tell that it, it, it has done some damage, but not as much as most of the other foes that you've uh, fought in the past. Noted. All right, and did I close the stupid turn tracker again? Yep. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, jeez. This yep. thing is getting really annoying. Okay. Um, oh, does it clear out everything when you close it? Yes, every freaking time, and I can't pull uh, it off the screen. Had no <sighs> uh, Melvin had a 17. Diane was 16. Yeah. Right, I got it here. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Um, so it's Melvin, nope. Diane, Ted, Doug, me.
four minutes ago. I want to be able to take an action. All right, who was who was next? Me, was Melvin. Melvin. Okay. All right, go ahead. Did he go straight up twenty feet, or yes. did he fly someplace he, else? No, he went straight up twenty feet, kind of hovering over you guys. Right over here, and I walk over by Ted Nug and say, "That's an ugly bastard." And then I cast a fireball. <laughs> oh God! So that the radius. Of okay. Compasses the whole thing, but doesn't hit us. Okay. All right, go ahead. Overkill. <laughs> well, you guys. <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool. I'm cool with it. I love overkill. I gotta find where the hell it is. Here it is. Yeah, I am perfectly okay with. Completely obliterating that guy. Ted Nug, you had a 17, right? Uh, Ted Nug was at 14. About oh, 14. Yep, 14. Oh, man, so I'm just messaging you with them right now. Thank you. Um, Let's see. What did you get? Alright, so he's going to make a deck save. Takes half, so twelve. Okay. Would have looked oh, cool though. <laughs> okay. So uh, you see Melvin look up and he holds up his sh shield in his hand, and a big ball of fire just erupts from it and goes a little bit past the the rock and then explodes. And you see a big shower of the flame come over it. Um, but he's still flapping there, seemingly un... It, it does look like it did a little bit. You can see kind of smoldering off of it, but he does not seem to be affected all that much. Oh, all right. That's a fireball. That makes me a little sad. And... That nug next, I think. No, it's no, Diane. 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 I know that. Yep. I do that. Go okay. ahead, Diane. Um, this is what's happening. <laughs> We're gonna kill all the vicious mockery. Your mom looks like she didn't go to college. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Who's the first thing I thought? Of? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have the list up. Uh, okay, so it uh, it looks confused for a second, and, it's, and it, in your mind you hear, "I have no mother." <laughs> no. <laughs> and that Mom makes him sad. Fail. And that makes him sad. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody has ever told him that before, and he kind of hurt his head a bit. All right. Um, was there anything else you wanted to do? Nine o'clock. Uh, I know we're we're finishing this up. All right, I'm proud of you. Uh, I guess I'll I'm gonna do this. Why not? <laughs> While I can. What? What was it? What was that? She rolled a boar. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I rolled a boar. All right. A boar. How boring. Aw, oh, poop. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, all the stupid icons are gone again, so I have to... I have to redo that one, but... Uh, here we go. Oh, he's so cute! Look at him. Aw, oh, he's from WoW. Yep. Okay. Um, 
And that was the rest of your turn, right? Uh, or did you want, want to move? Is he big enough that I can ride him? No, it's not. Damn. Okay, that's oh. it. My turn. Well, what is actually, it? Actually, well, no, I think it's a small beast as well. Um, it's a boar. Uh, He's a half wing, right? Right. You see, think... small, but it's also small. Yeah. I think it has to be one size larger. Actually, I'm not really sure about that, but. I'd probably break his little back. Okay. Razorback rider. <laughs> okay. Now, I think I got everybody straightened out, and. Except the Diane's showing 12 instead of 16, but. Oh, okay. Yep, I'm sorry. There. Okay, now it is Smoke's turn. Uh, Ted Nug. Huh? Ted Nug's turn. He was at 14. Oh, yep. what the hell? Oh, okay. Yep. Hold on just a second. Let me go through these. Okay. Okay, well, I am going to rage. Okay. Uh, and then recklessly attack with my great axe twice. Okay. It's in the air. Oh, yeah, it is. Sorry. Oh, is he? Yeah. yeah. Damn it. Okay. Sorry, I hate to spoil the fun. Oh. I would have hit him pretty hard, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well. In that case, I'm going to use this opportunity to dash all the way down this hallway and get out of here. Rage really, dash. <laughs> really pissed. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to run, like, really mad. You're mad because you can't hit him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Madness. And I can mad goes bad. Um, 80 feet with this. Uh, I think... Um... That might be... I don't know if that's... Uh... That, uh, that might be off the map, but I don't know. We'll find out. You can break it into different and portions. All right, you, you said you're dashing out the or down the tunnel? Yeah, I can okay. go all the way up to like... 80 feet, so... Okay, like, yep. So, just go ahead and go as far as you can see. That's fine. 35. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. You're essentially... You've gone by. No, thank you for reminding me on that. Um, I was yeah. ha half paying attention because I was still <laughs> trying to set up the stupid turn order thing. Yeah, that's fine. I hate to spoil it's fine, you know, but... I mean, he's, he would have died. It's in the air! I, I'm just saying he would have died, probably. Oh, yeah. Just kind of All right, are, you, are, you, are you done with your turn? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to just kind of run by. I'm going to fireball as I run by. Mm -hmm. 30, firebolt, the da boo That's a hit. Sweet. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Wow. Max roll. Okay. Um, he takes the firebolt into the chest, and you see it kind of... Uh, Envelop into himself. No. Wait, like, just ab absorbs the fire? Yep. Huh. Okay. Um. Wait, uh, how how I how far can I uh, use bonus dash to act? Yeah, to dash. How far can I move up here with and still see him? Like, like I still want to be able to keep an eyesight on him, but I want to move up the tunnel. Yeah. Um. I mean, as far as you can see, so... 
Okay. Dash. And... Oh, it's that tall. Okay. Yeah, it's it's tall. Oh. Or the. the... It, it's kind of like a ravine. Oh, so, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. It's so just I'll... sheer walls going straight up. Yeah. All right. I'll stop there then. Okay. So I am. So Nick, when it says I have a flying speed of sixty, does that count as my movement? Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna go to about right here. Okay. How high up or low are you? Oh, flying? I'm. I'm just like, like if you could fly dash. You know, without okay, the actual so dash action. Essentially hovering over the ground? I'm, I'm hovering over there, yeah, so I can get that bonus movement. Then I am going to turn around and attempt to use my hand crossbow. Okay. To shoot this mofo. But in conjunction with that, as a bonus action, I would like to use speed dart and I want to use five side points so for every side point your, I add your flying thing is a focus right it is okay all right no I'm, I'm asking I don't know let me check yeah concentration 10 minutes okay so I mean I'm still on the ground though now Right, right. I'm just making sure that it wasn't something you had to continue to cast. Like an action. You can't oh, no. It. It, you it's can't a concentration. Up. Okay. Right. Well, it doesn't use another concentration. So, I cast um, Speed Dart, and like I said, I want to use five points. So, I would roll 5d10. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Yep. Go ahead and do that. Provided that you hit. Right. And now I'm going to try to hit. Give me one second. That's the damage I would do if I hit. <laughs> um, that is a hit. So... And that's psionic damage. Yep. Okay, so you see this black streak just fly through the air um, uh, past the, the light that Sales Rock is giving off. And uh, you see him stop. He turns around. You see him concentrate for a second and pulls out a small crossbow in his hand, points it up at the beast, and you see this uh, purplish-pink glow forming all around the dart, and as it pulls the trigger, it flies through the air, hits the beast right in the back of the head, and explodes, and his head just completely shatters right down the middle, and he falls to the ground. That takes care of that encounter. <laughs> Level up. <laughs> awesome. So I'm going to assume everyone wants to run down the tunnel, right? To keep things simple. I poke my head back in <laughs> and I yell back. It's totally cool out here. Come on in. Or out. <laughs> Everything's fine. Alrighty, guys. Yay! Yay! And as you start making your way down the tunnel, you hear this loud scream, a female scream. Ooh, she is pissed. Or dead. I, I, I hope that. The demon as I go. What's that? I kick the demon corpse as I go by. Okay. <laughs> the other demons are still flying and buzzing around in the air. Um, you can't see much up on the top, but you can tell that somebody is pissed because there's 
as as you heard that loud scream, you saw all this spark and looks like magic just bouncing everywhere up there. So, all right, you are on your way out of Vulcan Valve. Yay! Yay! Diane puts up two middle fingers as she walks out. <laughs> <laughs> just either direction, just holding them up to the air. Yep. <laughs> you do not want to return. <laughs> I will be giving you a very bad review on Yelp. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever the favorite equivalent of Yelp is, so the Underdark equivalent. <laughs> the, oh. the Thunder Down Under. <laughs> but wait. <laughs> That's something else. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye, everyone. Guys, have a good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night.